Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven. A monitor that I reviewed in my last air quality video. The reason that I'm doing this video, I had a few comments on that video that uh, some people actually are thinking that this is not fake. The unfortunate thing is that after I finished that video, I took that fake meter <laughs> and I smashed it and threw it in the garbage and have since hauled it off to the dump. What what happened was someone contacted me, I think it was Franklin, said that when I took it apart, he thought he saw another sensor in the very back of that monitor. <laughs> I was like, no way. How could I have missed that? Over the course of the next few days or so, several people had commented that, well, you know what? The numbers, you know, from time to time appeared to be legitimate. So there's got to be something. It's, it's sensing something. So it's got to be okay to have. Since I messed up that video, I want to see what that sensor is. Well, <laughs> I purchased it again just so I could get another look inside. I bought another device in order to be able to do some more thorough testing with monitors. I bought a soda stream. What a soda stream does is it shoots out carbon dioxide into water or soda or whatever you're trying to carbonate. I'm going to use that for the test. If I fail this time at proving this thing is fake, I don't know what else to say. I took this outside with my other meters because I, I couldn't get this thing to go below 30 or 35, 37, something like that. My other meters were showing down to three. The fake Chinese one, it went up to almost 100 on the outside in fresh air. I don't know what this thing is detecting. All right, enough of the small talk. I got this case. I had this great idea. Some people, when they test carbon monoxide on these testers, they put them in a plastic bag. But I'm like, well, wait a minute. Why don't I just see if I can't get a box? So I got this plastic box that I can set everything in. Then I can set my little container in there to light my fire and test for carbon monoxide. I have my carbon monoxide detector here. Okay, so the PM 2.5 is 24. This one is 35. TVOC is 11. We'll see, you know what, this TVOC stays around 7 or 11. See, look at that CO2. How in the world, there is no way I have an actual CO2 monitor by Temtop. It's a C10. That is the CO2 reading in this room. Look at this CO2 reading, 2,500. Let's get the testing underway. Okay, this is the carbon monoxide. We'll go ahead and see if we can set this one in here. And then this one here, the carbon dioxide. We're going to set this one because we don't have much room in this case. So we'll just stack them. Then I will put my little tray in there. I'm going to test carbon monoxide first. This is how you test your carbon monoxide sensors. Is you dis a piece of tissue paper and you light it and then you blow it out. And then you stick it in your bag or like this is a plastic box. That way you can test if the carbon monoxide detector is actually working. But let's get this charted. Okay, light this up. Then put that in there so we can see. Now watch the carbon monoxide. This yellow one is carbon monoxide. Okay, we're just going to let it go for a little while and let it build up some in there and see if it, how high it'll go. Now this is, like I said, the TVSC, it's going to affect that because of the smoke. PM readings are going to be affected because of the smoke. See, now this PFC, the PM reading on this is going up, but wow, that is way high. Um, carbon dioxide pretty much stayed right where it was. 867, I think, or something like that. Look at the CO2. Look at this CO2. But the CO2 is pegged at 5,000. All right, let's see if we can clear this out. Spent fuel puts off a, a certain amount of carbon dioxide as well. Carbon monoxide is the main thing that what I just did is going to put off. See, now this carbon monoxide meter has went completely down to zero. See, that's still 800 and that's a way over 800 on the particles. This one particles is down to 51. Now we're going to test for carbon dioxide. Okay, so now let's 
get the soda stream and see if we can throw some carbon dioxide in here. See, watch, now this one here is the real carbon dioxide tester, okay? Watch what this number does and then watch what this number does. Let's shoot some carbon dioxide in here and see what happens to this monitor. There it goes. Yeah, this one, the Timtop C10, it just takes a little while for it to register. Now look at this, carbon monoxide, zero. Absolutely zero. And this one is zero. But look at the carbon dioxide number on here. It's down to 429. <laughs> this one's pegged at 5,000. 5,000 parts per million is as high as this will go. I did some interesting research online and I found out that we breathe out 35,000 parts per million carbon dioxide with each breath that we exhale. So that's why it's good to know that because if you have 10 people in your bedroom and some people start complaining that they're feeling sleepy or dizzy, uh, 10 people putting out 35,000 parts per million carbon dioxide with every exhale, that's a lot of carbon dioxide. Okay, now the TVOC on this is at 0.500. TVOC on this one, 11. Formaldehyde, three. Formaldehyde on this one, 64. Parts per million particles, 38. 25 this here is garbage please i wish that people actually finally start to believe this is fake but i'm i've got one more trick up my sleeve here to prove to you that this is lying to you here comes the interesting test let me show you what it is that i'm going to be putting in here yes you saw that right alcohol okay so now what we're going to do we're going to get my little dropper here all right, let's get some alcohol in the dropper here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop alcohol in my little thingy back there. This is rubbing alcohol. I actually got it to react to my cologne. Cologne has alcohol in it. Let me put this alcohol in here and I'll show you. Watch it. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this little canister, put the lid on. And then let's watch the CO2. 14, 19. It actually should peg out. And see, look at the carbon monoxide. See, now it's pegged out at 5,000 parts per million CO2, carbon dioxide. Look at the carbon dioxide meter. It's still saying normal, which is six to 800 is normal. This is pegged out because it 5,000 is as high as it goes. So, I mean, this could be actually going to six or 7,000. Look at the carbon monoxide, 686 parts per million. If I were to go to sleep and it was actually that, I probably would be dead within 10 minutes. Now, look at this carbon monoxide tester. It's setting at zero. It says, well, there is no carbon monoxide. I don't know what that one's telling you, but it's not carbon monoxide. It's an alcohol sensor, not carbon monoxide, not carbon dioxide, not particles, not TVOC, not formaldehyde, kind of sort of what you would find in a breathalyzer. That's why this is only $22. There you go. Let's get this out of here. This rubbing alcohol that's making things go wacky. See if we can flush that. We're gonna take that thing apart and we're gonna look at it again. All right, and let's switch over to the overhead. Let's see if we can zoom down just a little bit so you can see some more. So let's start peeling this up. I'm just going to leave this on because I want to do the alcohol thing again once I get to that sensor so I can show you that it is that sensor. Okay, now... And get these four little screws out of here. Okay. Yeah, and just like the other one in the other video. There's VOC sensors that look just like this. And then I found online last night, there are 
some PM 2.5 sensors that look just like this. So yeah, even the particle is not coming out right. The sensor that I missed the last time is inside here. So we're gonna take this apart again. Okay, now I do believe, let me see. All right, this actually might be some kind of a laser and air comes up through this when you shake it around you would think it's supposed to register particles. We're gonna find out where the alcohol sensor is. Unless the only thing in here is an alcohol sensor. These lasers are picking up particles, possibly, and that's why the numbers in here seem to be pretty good sometimes. Let me see if I can zoom in on here more and see if we can pick that up. There it is. CO2 is at 5,000. Let me blow some of this air out, clear it out, get it to go back down. The particle seems to work, but then it just goes nuts sometimes. So I still would not trust this thing. I would not trust it. I would not trust this. I would throw it away if I had it. You know, I wouldn't trust this at all. So if you have one of these, go buy a real one. What I thought was a VOC sensor in the last one is not a VOC. It is not a particle. It's an alcohol sensor. And let me show you again so you can see it. Okay, rub it in my hand. Put my hand over that sensor and watch it go. It's going crazy. It's off the charts. 5,000 ppm for carbon dioxide is as high as this will go. Look at the formaldehyde too. That's going nuts. Look at the particle meter. That's pegged out. The PM10 is pegged out. Even the carbon monoxide is showing almost a thousand. That's ridiculous. This uh, in the case showed zero carbon monoxide when this was showing like 700 in the case or 600, something like that. Yeah, this thing, people, please. Okay, let's zoom back out and then let's do a little closing. Okay, there you go. This. I don't know what to say other than this was my one last attempt. That's why I purchased this again. If you see this, please don't buy it. If you already have this, do you have a nephew? Do you have an uncle that likes to DIY stuff? Maybe you could get it to them and they could use this for a DIY case for something. And some of you right there are probably sitting saying, oh wow, that's a good idea. There's a little battery in here. I'm not keen on lithium polymer batteries, but you know what? Big Clive likes them. So he is probably using his for something. Stay away from this monitor, please. Anybody who has it, give it to somebody to play with, but don't trust your life with it. If somebody were to ask me, Stephen, what would be the two main monitors that you would recommend for people to get that they should have on hand? Carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. The reason carbon dioxide is so deadly is because it's odorless. You can't see it, you can't smell it, you do not even know it's present. Carbon monoxide, you can smell that. It'll be in all different forms. Wood burning, coal burning. If you're burning propane and your tank gets a little bit low, the flame starts turning yellow. That could pick up, put off carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide as well. Look at it this way. Don't discount carbon dioxide. Don't discount carbon monoxide. If one thing is gonna put off carbon monoxide, it's also gonna put off some amount of carbon dioxide. If something is gonna put out off a lot of carbon dioxide, it's also gonna put off some carbon monoxide as well. So that's why I say it would be good to have those two monitors. If you need to know what the air quality is, I would say other than that, the only one you really need is particles. Uh, PM 2.5, PM 10, PM 1. PM 2.5 is like, you know, the most common, but a lot of people like to know what the 10 and the one is. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. You know what? Let me see. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. So, I'm going to go with this. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Find somebody that needs to laugh. Find somebody that needs a hug. Make it happen. Yeah, make them laugh. Make them howl. Make them giggle. Give them a reason to howl. Life is too short. God bless. Take care. And I will see you in the next one.